Hey there, YouTubers. This is Kevin from The Bat Productions. And today is super exciting because this past week, only about three days ago, we got two trailers, two trailers that dropped for House of the Dragon Season 2. And we've been waiting for content for House of the Dragon for a good little while. I mean, aside from some like behind the scenes stuff, we really haven't gotten much of anything. So the fact that they decided to drop these two, which is the trailer of House of the Dragon, the Blacks, and also the Greens, is honestly brilliant. I mean, like, first off, like, the idea that they made a trailer to really give you the perspective and the point of view of each one of these major warring sides against one another, I think is is really excellent marking to really get across to maybe the casual fan as exactly how serious and brutal this is going to be. Because House of the Dragon Season 2, it's going to be brutal. Now, it's not going to be all of what we can expect uh, of the bloody war that's ahead, but it's going to be a huge, huge chunk of it. And I think it's going to start off with a absolutely major bang, too. But this really is meant to give you the perspective of, like, the Greens, what exactly their motivations are, what the players are looking like, and maybe what they think is coming ahead. And same thing with the Targaryen Blacks. Really, it's a matter of going, like, okay, well... How do we get to this point? What are we willing to do? And really, is it right that we are participating in this war? Very similar to the Greens. And I have both trailers for you, and we're going to go through those and watch those together, which is which is really, really exciting. But first, remember to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel. I would appreciate it greatly. Anything you can do, a thumbs up, a comment on the video, anything like that is greatly helpful to the channel, and I would greatly appreciate that, especially as we get closer to House of the Dragon Season 2 airing. The closer we get, the more I'll be posting videos about this content. And I'm super excited. You, you can see around me right now, I've revamped some of the visuals for the channel because I'm getting ready because I'm getting excited. You can see the Targaryen Black logo here and also the regular Rhaenyra Targaryen logo here. And it's, it's just, it's just, all right, so let's get into it. I'm going to minimize real quick so you can check it out. My father chose me, his firstborn child, to succeed him. He held to his decision until death. And yet, Alicent's son sits my throne. I mean to fight this war and win it. The realm will soon tear itself apart. Men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys and to his rightful heir. The High Towers are marching. You must crush this beast at its head. Our terms are very simple. Renounce the false king and bend the knee to the queen. Or your house burns. When the desire to kill and burn takes hold and reason is forgotten. You will not even remember what began the war in the first place. We fight for our queen! I fear what I've begun. Now that is a proper trailer. Like immediately, I am so, so, so into that. I mean, like from beginning to end, it's it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, obviously, one of the biggest things that comes out of it is you can see that Damon is ready to go. This boy is ready to ride. I mean, the fact that they have like a pretty pretty popular uh, war council assembled. Um, I guess they've called the Black Council. Um, they are they're ready to go. They know what's happening. Rhaenyra is like, listen, there is a usurper on the Iron Throne, and they're trying to take what's rightfully mine from me. And Rhaenyra is not having it. And mind you, her kid just died. At the end of season one, her kid died. Lucerys is gone. And that is because of the Greens, more specifically Aemon. But it only happened because they were currying favor for the battle that's, you know, about to come. So really, there's not a lot of diplomatic solutions in Rhaenyra's mind, and certainly not in Damon's mind, that is going to be on the horizon. Really, really, the biggest thing that we're looking for in episode one is probably going to be the retaliation from the Targaryen Blacks to the Greens for what happened to Lacerys. And I will say, when I show you the green trailer, I think you're going to see more of the lines what I mean. I'll try to pause it when I see it in the actual part of the trailer. Um, you're going to see what I mean, basically, without me going into too, too much meaning, if you haven't listened to the books. And if you haven't listened to the books or read the books, um, let you know I have the audiobook recordings on my channel of me 
doing the actual narration, which is really fun. You should watch out for those. But for the Targaryen Blacks, it looks like we could see the Cardinal Twins, one of the Char Cardinal Twins at least, because remember, one is on the side of the Targaryen Blacks and one is on the side of the Targaryen Greens, which again is just kind of symbolic of how it's like brother versus brother, how the Americans talk about the American Civil War. It's very much that kind of vibe that's going on with House of the Dragon Season 2 and A Dance of the Dragons that's, that's coming up. I love that we're seeing all the dragons. That we're seeing Caraxes in there. Ooh, ooh! When I see Cyrax just lining up to get ready to battle, I just, I, just, I'm just so excited. Especially Caraxes. When you have Damon go like, "Listen, it's easy. Surrender, or we're gonna, or we're gonna murder you." Essentially, oh, it gets my blood going. Oh, does it get my blood going? I can't wait. Honestly, I've been waiting for House of the Dragon season two for ages. And I mean, we see the Valarians, they, they were involved there. We get to see a few different, a few different dragon riders in there. Um, so I think we saw Moon Dancer kind of at one point um, within the trailer itself. It was, it's really, it's just a really, really awesome piece of literature. I mean, I'm going to pop it back on the screen here and we can really run through this a little bit. I mean, obviously you have the usurper that is in, that is engaged in all this. I actually don't know who this guy is. I have to, I have to pick him out. But um, you can see them just sitting there having a feast, but really trying to talk this at Damon. Look at him with this stupid smirk. I love it. I love it so much. Um, it is genuinely such a cool thing um, here. Well, they're, they're a little afraid of Syrax, Rhaenyra. Certainly not. And this is a good shot because this shows them going north. Because um, at some point in the upcoming season, a really important ally for any of the houses, but particularly for Rhaenyra, um, most likely is going to be the Starks. And everyone loves the Starks, right? Ice, winter is coming. And it looks like they are coming to winter this time around. And they're going to try to get the uh, friendship of House Stark, which um, who knows? Maybe it'll go really well. I think it will. Um, <laughs> but that's some of the biggest stuff in the trailer. I mean, you're up at the wall. And um, just to zoom back a little bit, that is Jaceris. Um, he's uh, Jacaris, he's up there. He is trying to. Uh, basically talk with the Starks and he's talked with the folks at the wall. And I wouldn't be surprised that they slip in the prophecy at some point here. Um, I probably wouldn't. I don't think we really want to hear about the prophecy with the White Walkers and stuff um, anymore, but I, I have a feeling that's that's exactly what's going to come up. And I think some of this with the battles, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I think it may be the Battle of Rook's Rest. But it really depends how they decide to stretch out Fire and Blood um into this season oh amen amen's ready let's go Otto. Otto doesn't seem happy about most of the things um of course corliss valarian who's uh you can see his age he's wearing a little bit now that he's got a little he's got a little cane um although he was recovering in season one so to be fair it could just be recovering from that injury um but whatever i'm sure most people are just going to talk about his stupid wig anyway because that's all house of the dragon fans seem to be into uh, another rainy night and you wonder if this is like storm's end or honestly based off this bridge right here um that you can see in the rain it looks like that would be um actually in the iron islands that tells me it'd be like a uh, pike or something like that um, or it could be one of the older other islands like great wick or something like that but based on balon getting thrown off by euron in house of the drag or not house of the dragon game of thrones I have a feeling they're going to use that same bridge for that kind of a thing. Um, it's a funeral for who? I don't know. I do know. At least I think I know. Um, but we're not going to talk about that. However, we can see really sad Allison's, and we can see her. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, oh, no. We see some. We see some sad high tower or ha sad greens. At least we'll say that. Um, and oh, see, there you go. There you go. One of Damon's kids. Um, oh, she's a beauty. Her and her beautiful Maraxes. Um, just oh, just total combat. And I honestly, I just can't wait. I think it's gonna be super awesome. So the fact that they start off with this blacks trailer, great, love it. But we haven't watched the greens trailer, so we're gonna do that right now. So let me add the greens trailer so you can see the perspective of the poor, poor egg in the second. Any weeks ago. My lord husband was alive and the realm was at peace 
on his deathbed. He knew the realm would never accept a queen. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish. But Viserys wanted Aegon to succeed him. They wish now not for the good of the realm, but for the satisfaction of vengeance. Not against the king, and I will pay it back a hundred times over. I'm as fearsome as any of them. I love this. I have to pause real quick, real quick. Um, because up to this point, like we just saw a second ago, it looks like Otto Hightower doesn't really want to have them all engaged in warfare. But he, but it looks like Aegon the second feels totally differently. Um, you know, he, he, the guy who was pretty reluctant to be king, it seemed like in season one, in season two, he's like, listen, uh, now that I'm king, anyone wants to come for me, I'm going to hit you with some receipts real fast. And they're going to be hard and furious. But and the, we, even to the point where if we, if we dial back a little bit, you can see a crown on helmet here. And this is going to be his war helmet. I would imagine when he gets on dream fire, his dragon, um, and that's Aegon the conqueror's crown. Again, he's been given like every sign of legitimacy as Otto Hightower said in season one. And I think to some degree, you know, it's getting to his head. Maybe not, maybe he's not like fully like Joffrey, like, you know, kill them all or anything like that. But he is starting to feel a little confident about his reign at this point to where it seems like he's kind of into warfare. But I'll shut up and you can keep watching this. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. My uncle is a challenge I won't come. If he dares face me. Now that was a big one. I have to say this real quick. I can't, we can't let that go. Aemon Targaryen, obviously a guy that I think a lot of people have fallen in love with, my, including myself. Like I liked him in the books when I read about him. However, when I saw him on screen, his on-screen betrayal, I'm like, this dude's a badass. Like he is as much of a badass as I expected. And the fact that like Damon and Aemon on, on screen are pretty equal badasses and knowing that there is a culmination of sorts uh without getting you know too too much into it um i i love the build i love the build it's like the 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 blood hungry guy on each side they're aiming their guns right at each other and i love that i think it's huge Even, but meanwhile like each side has their own people that do that alcent rainier really is kind of what it's about However, it's also kind of Rhaenyra and um, Aegon II because, you know, he's the usurper. So she has to kind of have them both ways. But realistically, it came down to Rhaenyra and Alicent. Um, now, this one's Aemon and Daemon. And then, of course, they have the two Cardinal twins, like I had mentioned before. Um, it, it, it's, it's kind of a big deal. I mean, and then you have these council advisors that are also a significant role. Now, Corliss uh, is, is, um, plays a much bigger role than just being an advisor, of course. He has a really good, he has the best Navy in Westeros and he's the richest guy in Westeros. So he's a better ally than Otto Hightower in that regard. But Otto is also one of the wisest guys. But if you've seen from the trailer, like you look at this one right here, they're talking to Sir Kristen Cole. Eamon's talking to Cole. And you can see the chain around Cole's neck. That is the hand of the king chain, which means Otto Hightower is out. That means Aegon II has gotten tired of Otto's crap. So... These two right here, these warmongers, essentially, are going to be the ones that are going with an impulsive, confident egg in the second. So that's something to think about as we head into season two of House of the Dragon. But I'll shut up and let the trailer continue. We will prevail and bring forth peace. But you must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. Good. To war, then. See what I'm saying? Aegon is so into the idea of violence now at this point. And, um, you know, may maybe because he was formerly like kind of a rich drunkard and it sounds really fun to him. But I will tell you a little earlier in that clip, it sounded like Otto didn't really want war. He wanted peace. Um, maybe do it from a diplomatic standpoint. Uh, because even though you could argue like everything in season one, like him just usurping the throne could have been basically saying like a guarantee of violence. You could argue instead it was him just getting a diplomatic foothold and saying, like, listen, we already took the throne. W let's figure out something else other than the throne because you can't have it. So, but reality, that was like the worst thing they could have done to prevent war. So, and both sides are kind of right. Like, Allison thinks that Viserys told her that Aegon II was the guy to fulfill the pro prophecy. But no, he was just loopy. He was on drugs and milk of the poppy. It was not accurate. He thought he was talking to Rhaenyra. And 
he was saying, oh, Rhaenyra, you got to be on the Iron Throne. So both sides think they're correct about this, but not the case. In my life, I've endeavored to serve both my house and the realm. And somehow none of it matters. Hold to your courage for the one true king, Aegon! Oh, just what a good trailer. And it ends with what looks like dream fire at the end. I mean, it's there's so many good things that are going to come out of season two of House of the Dragon, as long as it it works out. Because if if I remember, I think uh, Michael Sapachnik, um, who was working on, you know, a lot of Game of Thrones and season one of House of the Dragon, I think he exited. So uh, it could change. Um, it could change. Um, but I think Ryan Condal's still a part of the crew. Chances are House of the Dragon season two based off these trailers and the fact that they even bothered to make two separate trailers tells me that they're probably on good footing, uh, but they are so good looking from what I can see. It's 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 phenomenal. Honestly, I think there's a lot of good that's going to be coming out of it. And unfortunately, I didn't see the the part where it looked like it was a result of the funeral. I know it's in there, but I, I think I missed it. Um, but there's a portion where there are two two fellows they walking down the hallway of the red keep um earlier in the trailer and um it looks like that's going to be kind of the, the paramount thing that happens in episode one of house of the dragon and i i thought it would be um you know because again it's kind of a it's orchestrated by damon um at least in the books and i'm sure it will be on the show and uh it should be a pretty significant event that is going to rock the targaryen greens and really shape the future of this season and i cannot wait for it i'm so excited like these trailers have given me so much life i know i've been talking for like 17 minutes in this video but it's true they've been giving me so much life watching these trailers. i'm just so excited it makes me want to make just a billion hours of content about house of the dragon and just talk about it with you fine folks what did you all think of the trailers let me know your favorite parts and what you're most looking forward to in house of the dragon season two if you're going to say something super spoilery, try to try to not do that if you can help it. But like say generally like, hey, I'm looking forward to see how Eamon grows or what the dragons look like. Don't say like, oh, I love it when X person dies. Come on, save, help everyone else out there who hasn't read the books. All right. But if you do want to read the books or you want to listen, remember the audio books on my channel and please listen to those because they're really fun. And it took me forever to make. I'm still like I, I have I've totally taken a vacation from doing the night of the seven kingdoms i totally admit that i've been working on some other projects and stuff because you know you try to do stuff in life that makes you happy and for this last little bit i've been working on another channel um that's been really fun but once house of the dragon stuff came out i was like let's go let's talk about it so i've been really excited but let me know down below in the comments section what you would like to see maybe you'd like to talk a little bit more about house of the dragon things maybe specific topic i don't know let me know i would love to chat with you otherwise that's going to do it my friends Remember to hit the subscribe button, but take care. You have a wonderful day. Good